this Floyd Mayweather story that I've never shared publicly, but my first meeting ever with Floyd Mayweather, we were, uh, we went to this, um, to this diner and, and, and what, the deal with me and him wasn't a, you know, there wasn't an official deal or anything yet. We were just hanging out, figuring out ways to work together. And we went to this diner in, um, downtown Las Vegas and, um, and they all obviously they knew him. It was like this place he always goes to. I was with him and there was this lady, um, our waitress and, um, he knew her, she knew him. And, um, and at the end of our, uh, we had, a, it wasn't even a dinner. It was like a three or 4 AM. But, um, at the end of, at the end of the meal, he asked her, I forgot her name, but he asked her, he goes, Hey, um, I just have a question to ask you. And, and this is, this lady was a bigger, bigger lady, you know, like, um, you know, on the, you know, just, just o- very overweight. And I asked him, Hey, um, I have a question. If you had all the money in the world, what, uh, what would you do? And she goes, I would get myself out of credit card debt. And Floyd goes, no, not debt. Like, what would you do to really improve your life? And she got all embarrassed and she goes, um, well, it's really embarrassing, but, um, I would actually get a breast reduction because I'm so large. It's, it makes it hard for me to do any kind of cardio work and it's, you know, affecting, mm. you know, my working out and I can't work out. And, you know, like, you know, that's why I'm the size that I am. Floyd goes, all right, how much do you think that would cost? She's like, I don't know. She's like, I don't know. She's like, well, what do so you think? Six thousand seven. So I probably somewhere around there. I never had a chance to look. I'm a, you know, I work, you know, graveyard at a diner, you yeah, know, in Las yeah, Vegas. Yeah. We, the dinner was done and he goes into a bag and he takes out a stack of $10,000 cash and puts it under the, 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 the envelope where the bill is and he goes, let's go. And I go, wow, what, Floyd, that is incredible. Like, what, you, you know what I mean? Like yeah. this, you know what? We, we should call the press. We should, we should let people know you did that. He goes, no, you are not to ever do that. No one could ever know that I ever did that. That's for me, you and her to know. He's like, he's like, you know, people are going to want to watch me fight because they want to see me lose because they don't like me. That's how I'm going to make this money. Oh, damn. You know, I was like, wow. Okay. <laughs> you know, like, all right, I'll just he sit was, back. He was know? tipping waiters $10,000 off camera before YouTubers ever did it. Mm-hmm. Is there a chance that he did that knowing that it would plant the seed for you to tell that story one day here on a call? <laughs> no, I, no. in fact, he's I mean, probably going to see fucked this. fucked up that one rule. He said, don't tell anybody. Yeah, yeah. no, well, that was 10 <laughs> years ago. It was over 10 and a half years ago. So I could tell the story now because I wanted people to kind of understand who these kind of people are when it's not, you know, when they're not in front of the camera. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. so many people don't know these stories, so they just make their assumption. I can't tell you how many people text me. What are you thinking working with Jake Paul? Mm. And I'm like, who, who the you know fuck yeah. are you to tell yeah. me you know what I mean like you don't know Jake like I know Jake you know what I mean like you're just going off Feb FBI raid and you know parties at houses you know what I mean you don't know the type of person he is off camera it's people believe what they see mm-hmm. and when they only see or are fed a certain narrative sometimes I mean you can't blame them.